Hey, church family. I want to take just a, uh, a few moments and kind of update you on uh, our response to COVID. And uh, it's been a while since we've done this. So I just want to have a just a quick moment of your time. Um, COVID numbers are on the rise. We all know that. Um, I, I trust that you know that. I know that. Uh, we, we know that the experts are right now predicting that over the next couple of weeks, we're going to uh, see some spikes from some, some holiday travel. Um, we, we understand that. Uh, we know that there's a new strain right now uh, in, in, the, in the UK that is beginning to make its way here. It's supposed to be highly contagious, more so than, than what we've experienced thus far. But listen, I, I want you to know that we, we know all of that. Um, I know that churches in our area are beginning to go virtual again, beginning to do drive-in worship services again. Um, I'm sure their deacons and pastors have talked through that, thought through that, prayed through that, those decisions. Um, I want you to know that your deacons and your pastor have prayed through these things. We've thought through these things as well. And, uh, and right now, we're, we're, we're keeping things just like they are right now as a church. That's, that's what we're doing. We've, uh, God has been very kind to us. He's blessed us throughout these last several months together. Uh, we've had a few families uh, contract uh, the virus. Nobody's contracted it at church. Um, it's been elsewhere that they picked it up. Nothing to our knowledge has been spread at church to anybody else. Um, and so, uh, so we, we, under, we understand all of this. And um, we as deacons and, and leaders, pastors, we are in uh, con and not constant, but in frequent communication with, with one another. Um, we're staying in the loop. We're, we're reading, we're watching, we're paying attention. So, so let me just kind of let me lay out a couple of reminders on what we're doing as a church for you. Uh, number one, this is all a fluid situation. Everything that I say today could change tomorrow. It just it just depends from day to day. We are trusting the Lord day to day and uh, and week to week, Sunday to Sunday. Okay, and so uh, so understand that that. Let me uh, let me also remind you um, to continue to wear a mask. Um, I know that there are mixed opinions on the mask. I know that there are mixed opinions in our congregation on the mask, the effectiveness of the mask, the necessity, etc. I understand all of that. We're just asking, we're encouraging you to wear it from your vehicle to your seat. Um, and then when you get back up to, to go out from your seat, back to your vehicle. Uh, just wear it when you're mingling with folks. That, that's what we're asking. Wear it if you're going to Sunday school and, and then coming over to, to the worship service, et cetera. Um, it, it, let, let's, just, let's just do this and, and, and help each other out a little bit, okay, um, on, on the mask thing. Um, also, uh, allow, allow our greeters to, um, to open the doors for you. We, we're trying to have greeters at, at all the doors to the, to the worship center. Allow them to open the door so that you're not touching door handles and then somebody else is touching them, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, remember, we are cleaning. We're, we're cleaning the sanctuary um, often, and um, we, we bought a fogger machine that sprays, and um, we, we're doing all that. We're cleaning the Sunday school rooms after each use and um, doing the best we can to keep the, the place sanitized. Um, also, uh, if, if you're not feeling well, or if you've been exposed, to somebody who has the virus, and, or if you're just simply not feeling well one Sunday, we would encourage you to stay home. Uh, we have made the online virtual experience or whatever, we've made that as, as best that we can do at this time. Uh, and uh, I think it's I think we're doing a pretty good job with that. Um, certainly not ideal, but 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 keep keep using that that online experience if you're not feeling well. Um, maybe take your temperature before you come to church. And if you're running a fever or even a low grade fever, don't come. It's just stay home. It's okay. Nobody's going to um, cast judgment on you. Nobody's going to condemn you or shame you for choosing to stay home. So um, just just play that smart. Play that safe. Um, it's not, almost every week at this point. I'm getting a text message from somebody or a phone call or an email saying, "Hey, we were exposed," or um, you know, "I got a sinus infection um, or, or a cough," and we're just not going to upset anybody. So we're going to stay home. Man, thank you for doing that. I, I just thank you for taking that hit and staying home and 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 not, you know, put not not causing everybody on high alert for, uh, in, in that situation. Um, if you get a positive test result, I want to encourage you to let me know. Um, I, I want you to know that I am taking your confidence, uh, your your private health, 
I am keeping that in utmost confidence. I am not telling anybody your situation. Um, and and because that that's something you're confiding in me as your pastor. And so I'm, I'm doing that. However, however, I am asking you to tell folks. Okay, I'm asking you to do contact tracing. You get a positive test result. Call those in your Sunday school class. Call those that you've been around or you've uh, had personal conversations with or meals with or whatever. Let them know. Um, I, I, we're at a point. It, it, it's very helpful for folks to know who they've, if they've been around anybody or not. And so let, let us know. Um, but more importantly than even that, the body of Christ wants to serve you when you're sick, when you're ill. We want to love you. We want to minister to you. I want to be able to pray for you. I want our church body to be able to pray for you. And if, if, if we don't let each other know who is, who is suffering and who is sick among us, then we can't, we can't actually do what we have historically done so well as the church. And so I want to encourage you to let folks know. Uh, post it. Let your class know. Put it in an email, whatever. But just let us know so that we can serve you and, and pray for you. Listen, again, this is all a very fluid situation. It's changing from day to day. We are praying that, um, that, that maybe things are going to begin to look up in 2021 and, um, and, and, and some of this will kind of go behind us. Um, but until it does, let's keep being smart. Um, refrain from hugging. Uh, refrain from handshaking. And I know that's probably the hardest part um, is, is just not hugging each other and, and shaking hands. Let's just refrain from that. Continue to use sanitizer and wash frequently. Um, let's, let's just continue to be very diligent. God has been very kind to us as a church body. And, uh, and I think if, if we'll continue to, to just to be diligent and, and uh, faithful, uh, he'll continue to bless us. And so um, I want you to know I'm praying for you as your pastor. I love you. Um, I, don't, I know this is difficult times, but we will get through this. And uh, I believe this year is, is going to be our best year yet. So. Um, I look forward to, to doing ministry and doing life with you. God bless.